who is simply having a midlife crisis. Pronounced Raj. Stopping off at the newsagent's shop on the way home from school, Joe told Raj about the curious events of the day. Mr Dust is about 100. He's got to be more than midway through his life, said Joe. What I mean, Clever Grogs, continued Raj, is perhaps he was just trying to feel young again. But it's the most expensive motorbike in the world. It costs a quarter of a million pounds. He's a teacher, not a footballer. How could he afford it? Proclaimed Joe. I don't know. I'm no detective like Miss Marbles or the great Shylock Holmes, said Raj, before looking around his shop and lowering his voice to a whisper. Joe, I need to ask you about something in the strictest confidence. Joe lowered his voice too. Go ahead. This is very embarrassing, Joe, whispered Raj. But do you use your dad's special toilet paper? Yes, of course, Raj. Everybody does. Well, I have been using his new one for a few weeks now. The mint-flavoured bum wipes? Asked Joe. There was now a huge range of bum fresh products, including hot bum fresh, warms your bottom as you wipe, lady bum fresh, specially soft wipes for ladies' bottoms, minty bum fresh, leaves your bottom with a cool minty aroma. Yes, and... Raj took a deep breath. My bottom has come up, well, all purple. Purple! Said Joe with a shocked laugh. This is a very serious matter, chided Raj. He looked up suddenly. One copy of the Daily Mail and a packet of Rolos, that will be 85p. Be careful with those Rolos in your dentures, Mr Little. He waited for the pensioners to leave the shop. Ding! went the bell on the door. Didn't see him there. Must have been lurking behind the quavers, said Raj, a little shaken at what the pensioner might have heard. You are joking, aren't you, Raj? said Joe with a quizzical smile. I am deadly serious, Joe, said Raj gravely. Show me then, said Joe. I can't show you my bottom, Joe. We've only just met, exclaimed Raj. But let me draw you a simple graph. A graph, asked Joe. Be patient, Joe. As the boy looked on, Raj grabbed some paper and pens and drew this simple graph. Wow, that is purple, said Joe, studying the graph. Is it painful? It is a little sore. Have you seen a doctor? asked Joe. Yes, and he said he had seen hundreds of people in the local area with brightly coloured bottoms. Oh no, said Joe. Maybe I will have to have a bum transplant. Joe couldn't help but laugh. A bum transplant? Yes, this isn't a laughing matter, Joe, chided Raj. There was hurt in his eyes that his bottom had become the subject of mockery. No, sorry, said Joe, still giggling. I think I will stop using your dad's new bum fresh wipes and go back to the shiny white my wife used to buy. I'm sure it isn't the bum wipes, said Joe. What else could it be? Look, Raj, I'd better go, Joe said. I have invited my girlfriend over later. Ooh, girlfriend, is it now? The pretty girl you came in with when I sold you the ice lollies, said the newsagent brightly. Yes, that's her, said Joe shyly. Well, I don't know if she really is my girlfriend, but we've been spending lots of time together. Well, have a lovely evening. Thanks. Arriving at the door, Joe turned back to the news agent. He couldn't help himself. Oh, by the way, Raj, good luck with the bum transplant. Thank you, my friend. I hope they can find one big enough, Joe laughed. Out of my shop, out, out, said Raj. Ding! Cheeky boy, muttered the news agent with a smile as he rearranged his curly whirlies.